Hello, hello. You're watching DS Tech Media, and we are back with another video. I am your host, Jay, and DS Tech Media covers everything in technology from video games to servers, specializing in Linux and open source. Today, we're going to be looking at how to record your terminal sessions using Askinema and TTY Studio. So what is Askinema? Um, it's really ASCII, which is the American Standard Code for Information Interchange. And it is a character encoding. And with this, we're going to be recording the terminal text itself rather than recording it via video. So here we have the website, which is ASCIINEMA.org. I'll be linking that in the description. Record and share your terminal sessions the right way. Forget screen recording apps and blurry video. Enjoy a lightweight, purely text-based approach to terminal recording. Simple recording, copy and paste, embedding. And they got some example sessions here you can see. And they also have several uh, installation options you can install with PIP, which is a Python package management, uh, Arch Linux, Debian, OpenSUSE, NixOS, Gentoo, Fedora, 22, greater than 22, less than 22, and here we have Ubuntu. So you will have to add the PPA repository. I've already installed it in my case. So let's just get right to it. So you just do A-S-C-I-I-N-E-M-A space R-E-C for record space and then whatever you want to name the video, well the recording, and it's control D or type exit when you're done. So let's just do some. general stuff here. Okay, so now we have successfully recorded it, and when we want to play, we just need to replace rec with play, and the path to the file, just the file if you're in the directory, and you can also play from their website, which they have a, I don't know, I guess it's like a free hosting where they allow you to upload to their site.
Okay, there we go. Basically, uh, I found myself needing this because I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, server and terminal intensive videos and there's going to be a, a lot of stuff where, you know, I may not be able to do it without having to stop and go and look for issues like if I'm trying to compile the Plan 9 operating system or the Inferno operating systems, those are good examples. Okay, so we can also print the full output of the recorded cast to a terminal and you can upload. And you can even make a basically a script where you do everything record play and then upload you do need an account on their website in order to upload and once you've uploaded it to their site you can also share it and embed it in a player online on your website or or wherever I'll be honest, I have reservations about recording this and uploading it, um, even though your private information is invisible and doesn't show up when you're entering passwords and whatnot, I, I'm not sure if that information is somehow present in the recording and you know, I may just be paranoid, but let me know what you think about that. Um, the next one is TTY Studio. And you need Node.js and the Node Package Manager NPM to install this. This is at unixmen.com, by the way, just to give them a shout out, and I'll be linking this in the video description as well. So for me, this would be the command on a Ubuntu system. We have RPM-based systems like Fedora, Red Hat, OpenSUSE here. To actually install it from Node Package Manager, it's sudo npm hyphen g install tty studio and the reason that i included tty studio is because it can record as a gif So to start recording, we did TTY Studio, and then the name of the file and GIF. To stop recording, it's Control Q. It takes a little bit to. I'll put the image. And here we go, we have a GIF. How cool is that? So uh, there's two pretty cool methods for recording your Linux or B 
BSD or even Mac terminal. There's instructions on the site for Mac. I will link to both of the sites that I showed you in the uh, video description. Please like, share, and subscribe. Would love to know what you think. Still got plenty of videos coming. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on setting up a LAMP server and probably doing some typical installs, LAMP, WordPress, a ghost blogging platform, and the big one will be an Apache personal music server. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.